नमस्कार एंड वेलकम अगेन टू प्लैनेट टू सोल एस्ट्रोलॉजी सो एट प्रेजेंट इन ट्रांजिट थ्री इम्पॉर्टेंट प्लैनेट्स आर देयर इन द साइन ऑफ स्कॉर्पियो मार्स हैज जस्ट एंटर्ड स्कॉर्पियो इन विशाखा नक्षत्र सूर्य हैज जस्ट एंटर्ड स्कॉर्पियो इन विशाखा नक्षत्र एंड मर्क्यूरी इज देयर इन विशाखा नक्षत्र सन एंड मर्क्यूरी आर वेरी कंपेटेबल कंफर्टेबल विथ ईच अदर मार्स एंड मर्क्यूरी आर नॉट वेरी कंफर्टेबल अगेन सन एंड मार्स आर कॉम्पिटेंट विथ ईच अदर सो इफ एनी न्यू थिंग्स वन हैज टू स्टार्ट दैन दिस इज द बेस्टेस्ट टाइम दिस थ्री एनर्जीज आर गैदरिंग इन द साइन ऑफ स्कॉर्पियो स्कॉर्पियो इज द साइन ऑफ एट नंबर that is hidden things sudden things things which are never decided are going to give you fruit when we talk about scorpion energy scorpio is a sign which has lot and lot of energy karmic energy as well as present energy whatever you are doing at present everything is getting saved towards scorpio sign secondly scorpio sign is also connected to your studies like whatever study you are doing how will be the reflection of those studies in your day to day life that is also scorpio scorpio is a healer by default because scorpion energy is something like very prominent energy scorpio is also holding nakshatra like jupiter nakshatra that is vishakha nakshatra anuradha nakshatra which is of shani energy and then again jeshta nakshatra right which is again mercurian energy all these three energies are very much needed in one's life to survive in a best possible way now these three planets have come uh, are gathering together surya in the sign of scorpio is just boasting with its brilliance it's saying to mangal that now go ahead complete your ventures start the new things whichever is in your mind and mercury is definitely again Uh, making the best communication sometimes a rough communication also because mars and mercury makes the person very straightforward person without thinking sometimes people go on uh, saying something so here even if you are going to start something new or you have some plans then definitely you have to think and then you have to talk to the point if you will talk definitely your things are going to come out with a golden shield so this full month mars and sun sun is uh, already going to remain there only even if it will go in sagittarius still the same energy is going to carry it forward there but specifically here what is happening that already uh, you know saturn is there in the sign of aquarius at present right and jupiter is there in the sign of aries so now this mars when we will see so mars is making a quadrant connection with this shani somehow so again it may happen that some or other difficulties some or other stagnant episodes you may feel while uh going through your task that could be professional personal or anything financial but don't uh, get afraid don't worry ultimately you are going to find peace harmony in relationship and you are going to find success in your new ventures and at your office also if you are waiting for some post position promotion this is the time when you can start uh you know expecting that you can start working towards that it is not that within this 45 days or 30 days only things will but this is the time when positive cycle will rotate and then definitely you are expecting best fantastic fruits out of it now this mars 
and sun and mercury all three are going to aspect the sign of venus that is taurus so vene venetian energy is also coming here so anything new buying any renovations any luxury item if your venus is also in a very good position in your horoscope or having some or other connectivity with the sign of scorpio or these planets then definitely uh, this is the right time where things will turn out in a positive way do not think about graha yuddha like same uh, degree planets comes and one is uh, trying to prove uh better than another see all three planets are compatible with each other so definitely it is going to give you better fruits it is definitely not going to give uh bad fruits in for anyone now this mangal which has entered is also going to aspect shani in your horoscope right so shani is uh, already there uh, as i said before they are quadrant to each other and mangal is aspecting shani and this shani is going to aspect mangal here so this is the time where your karmic energy is coming into action you have to improvise your own self be good with your friend circle this is a time where some more other difficult moments you may find with your social group with social gatherings you have to be alert about it aquarius is a sign of particular particular uh, things or uh, principal oriented sign or dedicated surrender sign as well shani is asking you to be grounded be patient and then i will give you fruits so you have to mind well that martian energy of scorpio is full of healing so shani likes that energy right so if you will learn good healing if you are doing good karmic yogas if you are going uh, doing some good breathing exercises if you are joining any good yoga shastra practices definitely fantastic time for everyone to get a best outcome of this aspect and combinations so this mangal in seventh aspect is on taurus sign and eighth aspect is going to be on gemini sign gemini which is by default third sign of uh, uh, nature's uh, horoscope so whatever courageous activities because see mercury is already connected to this mangal so Ma mercury is absorbing the fruits or characteristic of this mangal so definitely anything connected to paperwork uh, communication if you are going to do make any presentations if your finances uh, you are waiting for something to come back definitely this is the time where fruits are going to uh, uh, bloom in a much and most possible way so this is a good combination see not a single planet is going to give you only good 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 no nor a bad right but this combinations what is happening now it is really uh, refreshing the energies because jeshta and vishaka is connected so education healing uh, you know starting something new uh, learning uh, healing therapies if you are into jyotish shastra learn new techniques try to maintain your repo on the platform where you are this is the bestest time you can give your best and don't forget to do namasmaran that is daily chantings are must this will really really help everyone a lot so once again i will say that scorpio is a hidden sign where lot and lot of your energy is residing surya is just elevating your soul to give its best fruit mangal is elevating your soul to energize your uh, you know your power and mercury which is boosting this both planets by absorbing that energy because mercury becomes most powerful while going with this two planets right 
and again mercury is also getting aspect of shani surya is also getting aspect of shani right and mars is also getting aspect of shani so these three planet are becoming very powerful to give the fruits so stay tuned with this energy and let me know in comment box how you all are experiencing and i wish everyone best of luck for this transit and as i always say sabka mangal ho may all be blessed namaste thank you